All right, today we're gonna to do a Photoshop tutorial on two things. One, making a gradient, and two, using a gradient effect on text. So let's check it out. First thing we wanna do is open a new file. So open new file. I'm just gonna pick your standard eight and a half by 11. Let's create that. Next, we wanna type something on our text, text layer. I'm gonna select the type tool. We're gonna to select, I'm gonna write the word gradient. I'm gonna use all caps. Gradient, blur, blur. So it fills up the whole thing. I have actually have mine currently on center justify. So it's a nice fat lettering. I have my character right now is tungsten, which you probably don't have. So any bold lettering will probably work out good. Let's go with um, Arial Black maybe. Let's try that. Let's switch it up to Arial Black in this case, since probably all of you have Arial Black to work with. So let's make it bigger. All right, let's just throw it in the center of our document. Next up we wanna do is go to our, we select our type layer and we go to this bottom row where it has the fill or adjustment layer. Click that, click gradient map. It'll create a new, you know, layer above the type layer. And then we're gonna click on, it'll, depending on where it is on your computer, it might be on a side column like this, or it might appear above your layers panel. But um, we're gonna click on the gradient editor, the actual gradient itself bar. And then we're gonna pick a gradient and we're gonna, at this point, we're gonna adjust a current gradient. So I'm just gonna go to these blues here. I'm gonna select this blue, 70 27 underscore 27 and i'm gonna manipulate a little bit we're gonna add some more colors we're gonna start on the far left with adding a color and you basically you, there's a little box on the bottom you can slide it over and then we can tap you know, click in the space between where it says stop and the gradient bar and it'll create a new box for us to manipulate so we're gonna click that i'm gonna make that one white and go okay and i'm gonna do the same thing on the other far end I'm gonna move that lighter shade down, click again inside of there, and then click the box and then make it black. Okay, so on either end of my gradient spectrum is black and white. And then in the middle, I wanna add some more colors in the middle. So I'm just gonna click kind of randomly, do that same process again. Find, just kind of select some random colors. I'll go for a purple here. Let's do something in here, let's go crazy, let's go yellow. Let's do a yellow right there. And let's put another color right over here. It looks like it's storing the last color you picked, so be aware of that. Um, let's do maybe like, I don't know, blue. Let's do this blue color here. Let's go a little bit lighter like that. Okay, cool. So we got this crazy gradient. I'm gonna even out the gradient spacing just a little bit. Um, looks good. Okay, and then we hit okay. So that's kind of, affecting this layer now. So then we wanna select the text layer again. We go up to filter and we go up to blur gallery and we select tilt shift and it's gonna convert our text layer to a smart object and we'll be able to manipulate this crazy um, gradient effect on our text layer. So I'm gonna make it go on an angle like this. So I'm grabbing a little white ball and tilting it on an angle. And then we go over to our, on our blur tool where it says tilt, shift, and blur. We can increase the amount the gradient is affecting it. So as you see, it starts to like affect the text as you get bigger. And then there's also these dashed lines. If you bring them in closer, will affect your gradient as well and how it affects your text. And then there's other different um, kind of gradient pattern filters. And so this is the tilt shift and there's also this iris blur, which is like a circular shape. So as we increase that, everything outside of the iris gets um, blurred and we can adjust the gradient, like the shape of the iris around. And we can also add additional irises. So if we want this gradient to kind of be over here, we can add another one down here. Um, Maybe make it smaller if we feel like. So we can kind of see different sections of our word that we're making this gradient blur filter on. 
all right that's that's it for today that's our gradient blur filter exercise so we learned how to make a new gradient and then we are adding to our gradient and then we are learned how to affect some text with this gradient when we like what we see we click the word we click OK here and then it's going to commit the blur and now we're back to our main Photoshop layers panel and document. All right, once we got our gradient layer made um, with our text, it's hard to use this layer in anything else when it's in this format. So I brought in this other image right here and like if you move it below the text, it, it just affects the whole layer. So I'm gonna move this back out of the way. I'm gonna hide it and we're gonna select all the layers, including the background, and we're gonna merge them all together. So right click, merge um, layers. So then the background is all merged together. Once we decided we won't be able to manipulate the gradient anymore after this, if we like it, it's done. And then we're gonna grab our magic wand tool or select tool and select everything um, outside of our words. And we're gonna go to select inverse, and then we're gonna go to copy a command C, and then command V and paste it. Um, and let's hide our background layer. And then let's bring back that other layer we were working with. And now we can put this gradient words on top of and anywhere we want without our other layer being affected. So that's how you can use, once you got your gradient like you like on your text, this is how you can then use it in a, another Photoshop, in the rest, you know, another Photoshop document. So you're going to have to create your effect with your text in a separate document. Maybe you can cut and paste, you know, once you have this layer ready, you can select all copy it and then bring it over to another document and paste it in there. All right. Hope that's helpful. Talk to you soon. Peace.